imagination in general is the capacity to see the world differently than it is. I mean, so when a, a kid draws a purple unicorn, they've never seen a purple unicorn. It's coming from their imagination. Uh, but when we start thinking about how society could be different than what it is, uh, then we're getting into the prophetic imagination. I mean, in particular, the prophetic imagination is the capacity to move beyond the world as it seems and to begin to see the world as it might be, God's vision for the world as it might be. And even more than that, it becomes dangerous because the prophet evokes and challenges people to move from the world as it seems to the world as it might be. And it's not just criticizing. Prophets don't just criticize, they open up the possibility for a different world. That's what the prophetic imagination is. Uh, having kind of getting caught up in the prophetic imagination, um, whether you know it's through reading the Gospels or reading the accounts of the prophets or resonating with Dr. King's vision for the beloved community or even having some of your own vision for how the world could be differently, uh, could be different, is terrifying. 